The seed seems complete, enclosed by a rough shell. It is its own protection. Curled up inside its own dark, waiting, it finds purchase in the forest and the field and the mountain. It finds purchase in those structures built 6,000 years ago, in the interstices of faded carvings of sun wheels, within the moss overgrowing the ancient etchings of stars and planets. And it finds purchase also in the slight aperture between the steel band and the glass facade of an empty skyscraper, in the crack in the concrete, in the tarmac of the motorways that traverse the continents. Birds, the most plentiful witnesses to the entire breadth of our efforts, can drop a seed from above the clouds and it will land safely, still undestroyed, still waiting.
The seed is not complete. It can contain all that it needs, but only for a moment. To kill a seed would be to keep it as a seed. It must destroy itself, cracking apart what it once was from the inside. Yet there is no violence here, only becoming. The nature of growth is effortless. The seed does not dream. It does not harbour intentions. It does not engender itself by dint of will or even beget itself with love. All it does is grow. And it is grown by the light, and what it grows towards is the light. All the seed does is grow, and all the light does is shine.
We are seeds and we are light, but we are also witnesses. And all that remains of those now too distant to love, too past to know and too dead to mourn are these structures. And they are witnesses to the light. And in this light, twice a year comes an equality, one equality tilting towards the light and one equality tilting towards the darkness. Now we are in that equality that spins towards the darkness. This morning, a star will alight its likeness. The sun will illuminate the astral map of Sleeve Nakailok. And in this day, Ard Hanari will sit in the lap of Shiva and they will merge, masculine and feminine, perfectly aligned, before separating once more. And in this night, Bacchus will be hung over. He will grow desolate and short-tempered. His harvest is at the end, and he languishes in the promise of coming darkness. It is now the season of Kailach. She is a witch, haggard, aged, and powerful, who holds sway in winter. You say all's forgiven only time will tell and yes this is what living for when everything around you's gone to hell but don't hold a candle to an open flame and don't start a fire when you pray for rain From a mission and get lost on open roads, and you take what you're given. I've been trying hard to even up the load, but don't hold a candle. The earlier witnesses knew the earth is another flourishing seed, rotund and bipolar, for the trajectory of the individual seed is only an unstoppable movement towards growth and an effortless flow 
towards death. And on this day of equipoise, we recognize that there is no true separation between life and death, and that we are what we have always been, witnesses of the light. <laughs>